Hi, I'm Glenn Wester, Senior Program Manager at App Center. I'm excited to talk with you today about automated UI testing. Quick agenda, today we're going to talk about application quality, the UI testing frameworks that we support, our very impressive device lab, and a quick demo, which I think is the, the fun part. Now, I first want to address application quality. So how do we achieve high quality applications? Do you have an app that's on your phone that always works, that you can rely on it, and you'll know it works every single time? How is that? Is that because that developer only hires perfect coders that only output perfection in code and they never mess up? It's probably not the case. We're all humans and we make mistakes. And app development projects now are increasingly complex. We have a lot that can go wrong, especially when we have many developers that are checking in code. So how does this quality happen then? Well, I would say it's not magic that's happening. I bet that app developer has instrumented automated UI testing to objectively verify the quality of the application before launching. So we can purposefully and intentionally try to break the app using these tests before we let the application loose. Once it's deployed, we can use App Center crash reporting and we can let us know how it's doing you know, when it's out in the wild. But before that, we really want to take our built, newly built application and we want to catch regressions. Now I want to make sure I address automated UI testing. Basically, it's a suite of scripts that we write and execute against our built applications. And App Center supports the most popular frameworks for UI testing. We have support for iOS and Android currently with Appium, XE UI tests, Espresso, Xamarin UI tests, and shortly we'll support UWP apps. A key word here is automated testing because it wouldn't be a good use of developer time to manually test like we've done in the past. Testing suites can be pretty lengthy and the task is pretty laborious. So our workflow is that we build our apps in App Center, and then we execute a post-build command, a shell script, to take our built APK or IPA file, and we run it in our lab before deploying. Now, my favorite part, I'd like to talk about our device lab. When we develop applications, we can't always fully understand how the app behaves in this diversity of hardware that exists. Now, emulators are good for setting up the test, but they really don't tell us the full story of how the application actually behaves. Emulators and simulators typically inherit the hardware characteristics of the computers that they're running on, which are typically pretty robust dev machines. So we tend to see higher rates of failure running, in these, running on the metal of these devices um, than we do running in simulators and, and emulators. So your users are not using robust dev machines when they run your app. They might be using a KitKat device, for example, with one gig of memory and a slow CPU. So if we don't test on this low performing hardware, we might not be giving that segment of customers a good experience. So in addition to not having the hardware, it's possible that we don't have the right version of the, of the um, operating system installed on that device. So what we do in App Center tests is that we install multiple versions of the software on our devices so that we can directly match the configuration that a customer might be having when they have an issue. I would say that this problem greatly increases too with the popularity of your application. So it could be deployed in countries where we never anticipated and you know, is running on hardware that's it's not common where we live. In some cases, we're not even allowed to buy the devices that are country specific. Um, so you can't pick them up at a local Best Buy or something. Now, if you find out these devices are having problems, you might ask for your, your boss for budget to you know, procure these devices. And you could quickly spend about $1,000 per device in certain cases for the higher performing devices. So even if you did secure this budget to acquire all these, you need to provision them, you need to monitor them, you need to update them, you need to make sure that you don't charge them for 24 hours and the battery spells. And you'll need some sort of execution infrastructure to distribute these tests, to generate these test reports. You know, you might have to set it up too so that your other employees at your company can also reach these devices. So it might not be the case where this investment and this maintenance investment is worth it when you're trying to ship features and make your app better. So we solve this problem with App Center, and we give you access to our physical device lab. So at the time of this recording, we have 3,017 devices, and this is iOS and Android of all shapes and sizes. So we do the legwork, and we go out and buy all these new devices that are released. We put them on shelves, and we give you the capability to deploy automated tests to them so that you don't have to keep doing this and going out and buying these. And what's cool is that our lab runs 24 hours a day. So if your development team's in another time zone, you can wake up and 
see fully tested code from their check-ins throughout the day. So now I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to show you an example of deploying these to our devices and the resulting test report in a quick demo. Welcome to App Center. We are in our testing portal here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to initiate a new test run. Now, as I mentioned before, we have all these different combinations of software and hardware. But what we can do is we can navigate over to our analytics part of App Center. And we can actually verify to see what our customers are actually using. So based upon this information, we can create device sets, and then we can name them. So this is really great, because if you want to deploy to a certain subset of your user base, you can go ahead and do that. This is especially helpful, too, if you have sort of problem devices. You know, your crash reporting utility or your analytics utility is telling you that something's going on with these. We can then specifically target them, and then we can validate that a fix is in place and it actually works. But for the purposes of a demo, let's go in and click through these devices. So here we can see all the different device types that we have and the different versions of iOS. Now, if this was an Android test, of course, you'd see Android devices here. And we can select a whole group of these, and we can save this for later if we like to. Or just for fun, we can select all of them. So let's deploy to 166 combinations of iOS devices. So after we do this, we can select the frameworks that we support. And also, too, we can differentiate the test series. You might want to do like on a master branch or a nightly branch, or maybe some launch tests. And then you can select your framework. And then this will change the upload command and make it relevant to the framework that you're selecting. So once we generate this command, all we have to do is add it to our building step as a post build command. And this will execute after our app is built. So when this actually goes and runs, what we can see here is a test report. And we can see how many tests have passed versus failed. We can take a look at a history and see you know, how we're doing and maybe what our peak memory usage is. So if we click into a report, you can see here that three out of our three tests pass and that we ran on 166 devices. So here we see the sort of um, the length of the test at the peak. We can see the peak memory. And really what we're trying to do here is that we're really trying to understand how the application works. So I would say if you take something away from this session, I would just try to write a very simple test, like a login test. It's very fundamental, but very important to the functionality of your app. And make sure that you can log in appropriately. What we're trying to do here is that we're really trying to understand how our app is actually behaving in these devices. When we click in, we can see things like hardware usage. We can see if we're spiking the CPU. We can get details about the device, like resolution and when the release date was, and how much RAM it has, for example. Furthermore, we can look into the logs as well. So for iOS, we record the syslog. And for Android, we record the, the full Android logcat. And then depending on the test framework that we use, in this case, we're using Xamarin UI test with NUnit, we'll see the testing log as well. And this will change depending on the framework that you use. So really what we want to do is that we really want to try to break our app. And we want to run it on as many devices as we can. Of course, we can selectively target a more strategic group of devices. But it would make sense to run this nightly on as many as you can so that you can understand you know, before it goes and crashes on someone's device, they very thoroughly tested the application. OK, thanks for tuning in. Um, I encourage you, all of you to sign up for App Center. Um, you can do this so with the following link. And you can try out deploying automated tests to real devices. Thank you.